never thought at 37 years old I'd need to relearn how to brush my teeth. So someone at the company actually sat down and calculated how much time you will save by using this brush. So if you have 32 teeth to clean, three surfaces on each tooth, 32 times three is 96. If you're brushing about the recommended two minutes, then you are only brushing each tooth for 1.25 seconds. But with this, 30 seconds you're brushing all of your teeth. So each tooth is brushed for 30 seconds, but it's even longer than the regular brush. But you're also saving so much time because instead of two minutes, you only have to brush for 30 seconds. Hmm. Life hacking, baby. Are we ready for this? I don't know. Here we go. This is kind of weird. So I don't know how this became a thing. I take my oral care very seriously, but I'm never Googling or seeking out different toothbrushes or anything like that. So I'm not sure how I got a targeted ad for the Sonic brush, but it was one of those ads that as soon as I saw it, I clicked on it and I knew that I wanted to give it a try. So you may have seen this before, but it is called the Sonic brush. And it's essentially a mouthpiece that you put in your mouth and it brushes all your teeth simultaneously and you only need to leave it in for 30 seconds. So I thought I'd come on here and let you know if it's legit and worth your money. Now it wasn't very pricey and the shipping was free and it was pretty quick. And I'm gonna unbox this for you and show you what I got. So I bought the Sonic brush in the color white. Now this is supposed to be a one size fits all type of deal for adults. Online it says that they did a lot of research and measurements in the size of the mouth between men and women and the difference was so small they didn't feel the need to create multiple sizes. So it is a one size fits all toothbrush. I mean similar to a regular toothbrush, you generally aren't looking for different sizes. So let's open this up and see what we have inside. All right, so it looks like I have a charging stand here and the charging cord. Then we have the instructions and the toothbrush itself. We definitely need to read the instructions because this is unlike anything I've ever used before. On the front cover, you can see the different colors. I opted for the white. I just felt like it would look the most aesthetic in my bathroom. And as an extra add-on, I also purchased this hygienic case. I think it's just for travel, but also a cover to put on the brush when not in use. Right, I'm a little nervous about this. Charging instructions. So it is a micro USB cable. So evenly apply the toothpaste, apply a small dab of toothpaste, dip at various points on the mouthpiece, position the mouthpiece in your mouth, press the button to initiate the cleaning cycle, move the brush side to side manually. After use, rinse the mouthpiece. It takes less than 90 minutes for a full charge and that charge should actually last you a week. There's easy one button operation and there's three different modes. So mode one is a gum massage, Mode two is intense cleaning, and mode three is actually a teeth whitening. It takes only 30 seconds for a 360 degree full brush cycle. Smart memory function remembers your preferred setting for efficient use. I like that. So kind of here's just a picture of everything that comes with it and how to assemble. I mean, it's it's pretty nice. It's got kind of like a rubber silicone-y grip on it, which I like. Now the mouthpiece is supposed to mimic um, kind of a soft, bristle toothbrush. So it's way different than I was expecting. I was expecting it to be more of a toothbrush, but it's actually kind of like a rubbery silicone soft material. Very interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna attach this on. Okay. So that's mode one. Mode two. Mode three. Well, I'm not sure to I'm not sure what to do with this. <laughs> okay, it's very intimidating, way different than a regular toothbrush. Now I use a Philips Sonicare electric toothbrush right now. I mean, it's a pretty high-end toothbrush. I like it a lot, but as you know, you need to be brushing for like two minutes per session. So my toothbrush actually indicates when it's been 30 seconds, so you can do 30 seconds in each quadrant. And then there is a 30 second cleaning cycle at the end. So that's two and a half minutes every session for me. That's not a big chunk of time, but if you're telling me that just in 30 seconds, all my teeth can be cleaned with this, then I'd say I'm definitely on board. So online it does say there's 48,000 vibrations per minute, which I believe, I mean, it's vibrating pretty aggressively in my hand. And I guess this like cold light here is what is used for whitening. And apparently, 
using this for one to two months is supposed to yield the same results as getting a professional whitening treatment done at your dentist. Intriguing. And online it does say, you know, if you have sensitive teeth, then you can say goodbye to bleeding or sensitive gums because it isn't as aggressive as using a toothbrush since it is ultrasonic vibration. Just like a regular toothbrush, the lifespan of the brush head is about six to nine months and you would change it out at that point and they do sell the additional brush heads on their website. I do change the brush head on my Philips Sonicare brush every six months as well. However, those brushes are readily available because it's such a popular toothbrush. I actually just buy a huge package of dupes on Amazon. My only concern with something like this is this is new to the market. This is the first go around. So do I need to stock up on a bunch of brush heads in case they go out of business or they change the design? Maybe. Otherwise I'm just stuck with this base and nothing to fit on the top. I wonder how I turn this light off. The bristles are supposed to mimic that of a soft bristle toothbrush, so if you have a medium or hard brush that you are using and really getting in there, this will likely feel different since this is supposed to mimic soft bristles. Now, obviously this isn't gonna clean your tongue, this is just gonna clean your teeth, so you are going to want to either get a tongue scraper, this is the one I use, or some type of tongue cleaning device so that you can still clean your tongue after you're done using the toothbrush. And if you think you can go out without brushing your tongue, you are sadly mistaken. You need to be brushing your tongue. So this is just supposed to replace your manual toothbrush, so you'll still need to be flossing and whatnot, making sure you're getting in between each tooth. Now this is supposed to be antibacterial silicone, so it is supposed to be hygienic, but just like a regular toothbrush, you're gonna be rinsing it after every use. I don't have braces or Invisalign or anything like that, but online it does say that you can use this with Invisalign or braces, but if you have braces on the front of your teeth, it might not do as good of a job as with a regular manual toothbrush. Now I'm gonna follow these instructions to a T. I don't know if this is a thing, but every time I put toothpaste on my toothbrush, I always wet it a little bit, but it doesn't say to do that in the instructions. It just says to apply a little bit of toothpaste and then put it in my mouth, so, okay. Now, when I saw the instructions for this, I immediately thought about the amount of toothpaste that's gonna be needed to be used because I, use very little toothpaste on my toothbrush. It says that you need to be applying it, you know, in various points on the top and bottom of this U in order for it to be effective. So I feel like I'm gonna end up using way more toothpaste. I mean, I'm not using anything fancy. This is just like my regular quality optic white. I switch between whatever toothpaste is on sale. I don't have a preference, so I'm using Colgate White. And this is straight out of the packaging, so we're just gonna rinse this before I put it in my mouth. Okay, so I'm going to apply a little bit of the toothpaste like, I feel like that's how much I normally use. Now I need to go in and use a little bit more. So I'm gonna position this in my mouth and press the button, and it's gonna go for 30 seconds, and I'm just gonna move it from side to side, and then I'm going to spit it out, rinse the brush, rinse my mouth, and I'll be back. If you don't like watching someone brush their teeth, then you can skip forward. You have to open your mouth quite wide. Oh. seconds and I just felt like I put way too much toothpaste on it. I could taste the toothpaste and you, if you could see it was actually starting to drip. I don't know if I was drooling or I had a lot of saliva in my mouth just from talking, but you're definitely gonna wanna do it over your sink. I found it similar to the learning curve of when I use my water flosser. If you have a water flosser, the first time you use it, you're like, what the heck am I doing? Because water's just kind of going everywhere. And then you kind of figure out how to do it cleanly and correctly. So the first 30 seconds when it finished, I went to the sink, spit out the toothpaste, and I just felt like I had a lot of toothpaste still in my teeth, in my mouth. So I rinsed the brush head and did it again. And this time I kept my mouth open and moved it side to side like this. And I just felt like it was cool to see actually. You could see the vibration of the bristles, but I just felt like that was helping it move a little bit more freely than actually keeping my mouth closed on it. So I'm gonna have to experiment on how I actually want to use it. 
You probably noticed that after the 30 seconds, the light did turn off. So that's why the light wasn't turning on, just because I was pressing the button over and over again. But after the 30 seconds, the light did turn off. And like I mentioned, when I turned it back on the second time, it remembered which setting that I had the previous time. So it's kind of got that memory function, which I like, which my other toothbrush does not have. So yes. Overall, my teeth feel really, really clean. I did struggle a little bit to try to get some of my back teeth. I had to really shugle it in there to get my back teeth clean. But once I figured that out, my mouth does feel really, really clean. I'm impressed with kind of the gum massage and I can tell that it did hit all my teeth, which is really, really nice. My kids are gonna laugh tonight when they see me using this before bed. They're at preschool right now, so they have no idea what I'm doing. I definitely could see this being really beneficial for children. My toddlers suck at brushing their teeth, like they're so bad at it. And they have a little kid sizes, which is the exact same. They put it in their mouth and it kind of cleans all the teeth for them. I probably won't invest in that for them at this point because they're only five and three, so they're a little bit small. And I feel like I had to learn how to brush my teeth properly with the toothbrush, so they also need to do that but when they are a little bit older I think that could be really beneficial for kids that really struggle with brushing their teeth and getting in the back and underneath I'm quite excited about this there are lots of reviews online and lots of people recommending on how to use it how not to use it so I think I definitely need to go on and read to figure out some tips and tricks so here's the case I have for the brush head when this is charging I'm going to pop off the brush head and stick it right in case, good for travel. It's gonna go right on the charging base so that it's good to go for next time. Online it says, this isn't the 50s anymore, so why are you still brushing your teeth like your grandpa did? I feel like I'm not brushing my teeth like my grandpa did because I have a Philips Sonicare electric toothbrush and he 100% didn't have that, so. Not sure what uh, the website's trying to say. Well, there we have it. Thank you so much for tuning into my video. I do have a discount code for you below if you're interested in purchasing one of these toothbrushes. So appreciative of you being here and for the love of this video and all of my past videos. If you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up so it can tell the algorithm to recommend it to other like-minded individuals. And don't forget to subscribe to follow along for more. I hope you all have a amazing day and bye for now. Thank you.